The only one of its kind in the CARICOM region, this liquid egg facility was established not only to satisfy the demand for liquid eggs, but also as a strategy to increase the consumption of eggs locally. The limited liability company was formed and is being managed by investors who are farmers and members of the Jamaica Egg Farmers Association. And to put the icing on the cake for a sustainable egg industry, the association formed a partnership with Caribbean Producers Jamaica Limited, a major food and beverage distribution firm who has a 50% share in the entity to take care of marketing and distribution. The facility was set up with an initial $50 million and the machinery and processes applied have met international safety standards. Things have to be meet the standards of the health people, the Bureau of Standards. We have to actually be prepared for HACCP readiness and all of these facilities are very, very expensive. So a lot of money was spent and fortunate, fortunately for us, the egg farmers, we were assisted by the Ministry of Agriculture um, with a loan to, to help for working capital. So it was mainly working capital to get all these, get the farmers in more readiness, get necessary things online to meet production. Caribbean Egg Processors Limited, as a pioneering venture located at the Montego Bay Freeport, became operational in February 2007 and within six months began churning 900 to 950 cases or 10,000 to 11,000 kilograms of pasteurized liquid egg per month. As it stands, the plant has the capacity to process some 18,000 eggs per hour. The process of pasteurization ensures that eggs are safe from foodborne diseases and this occurs as the liquid flows through a set of folding tubes at temperatures between 60 and 65 degrees Celsius for about 3 minutes and then cooled rapidly to between 0 and 5 degrees Celsius within seconds. While a lot of persons might not be familiar with liquid egg, they could soon become introduced to it as the product is poised to become a visible feature in the general marketplace. The product gets rid of that messy egg-breaking job for consumers, allowing them the ease of simply pouring from a convenient container to the pot. It's the preference of local hoteliers and bakers, who are the main consumers currently taking up the bulk of production. We have at least 150 products we use per day with liquid egg. So the demand for liquid waste is vast, vast. We're getting a good supply. It's easy to use. All we have to do is maintain a temperature on it. We don't break egg anymore. We don't import eggs anymore. We, and it's good enough for the industry. The opening of the egg processing plant in the heart of the island's tourism capital, therefore, was a strategic move by the Jamaica Egg Farmers Association to capture this market that was being supplied largely by imported liquid egg. We were actually forced to, to, to move into a venture of this nature because the hotels were importing um, liquid eggs and the farmers were in a worse position with the market of selling their shell eggs because traditionally the, mar the farmers supply the hotel with table eggs and with the invent of importing liquid eggs which is what internationally which is what is happening. Hotels all over the world their first call now is on liquid eggs. We were a natural fit to this uh, venture because Caribbean Producers is a major supplier to the hotels and we've been importing liquid pasteurized eggs for a couple of years for the, for the hotels that require this product. So we're very happy now to be able to um, produce it in Jamaica and of course support the local farming um, of eggs in Jamaica. Market survey on the egg industry by the Agricultural Support Services Project, ASSP, in 2005 indicated that 75% of commercial establishments surveyed were in favor of using liquid eggs based on its convenience and the increased shelf life of the product. 
Pasteurized liquid egg allows for diversity in egg product offerings. And as farmers are able to generate supply locally, they are en route to giving choices to consumers while enhancing their earning potential. Whether you prefer the yolk or the white or a combination of both, consumers are able to have it their way as the different components of the egg can be packaged and offered separately. We've had extremely good response. The product is found to be equal to all international standard as it relates to pasteurized liquid egg processes. Now the advantages of liquid eggs, you know, why liquid eggs as opposed to as opposed to raw shell eggs. It's primarily an issue of food safety and and uh, quality of service. There is also a, a, a hidden cost saving factor. Within the existing market, the opportunities are significant and more so with the anticipated opening of a number of additional larger properties that are, will be feeding large numbers of people you know, at one time. It's something that we should be very proud about, but it's something that's going to require a lot of support from all users so that we can make sure it stays viable and that the chickens are laying and that everybody, you know, it takes, um, it takes full support for a venture like this to be successful. So we're just very excited to have it here established. Um, so far, so good. And, um, you know, we're going to make, do everything possible to make it into a success. Jamaica's per capita consumption of eggs is among the lowest in the world, with seasonal heightening of demand at Easter and to a greater extent at Christmas. Traditionally, after the peak demand at Christmas, there is an abundance of egg on the market which depresses the price, causing egg farmers to suffer a great loss and forcing these farmers to cut back egg production. Some 11.2 million dozen eggs are produced and supplied to the Jamaica table egg industry on average each year. What farmers have to do each time is to put in an excessive production of pullets to meet the Christmas demand. And after Christmas, the market cannot consume this production and of course um, this business is not one where you can just turn down production or turn it up. Pasteurized liquid egg serves to prevent the huge wastage of eggs that would occur. Farmers now have the opportunity to sell those eggs that are not compatible for the premium shell egg trade that is, too small or too large, to the liquid egg plant, as well as the excess produced after the peak periods. We are expecting that it will bring more stability to the market. It will allow more farmers now to, 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 um, to level out their production, and by so doing, there will be better returns. And then it will encourage smaller farmers to come into the business. And we are hoping from this we're going to have growth in the egg industry. And with this, there is renewed hope among egg farmers who have come to recognize the enormous potential for market improvement that the liquid egg facility can provide. The Caribbean single market certainly is, is, is a very positive thing for the Jamaican manufacturers in general and for the Caribbean. Uh, we, we have actually exported um, table eggs to Trinidad and in 2004, we exported some three or four containers to Trinidad. Where it's going to help considerably is the fact that we have the liquid egg plant. And as I said earlier, we can store, while there's a glut, we can store um, um, production. And then we can export to the Caribbean region, even in times when shell eggs might be scarce. So we are looking at it this way. There are issues hindering the consumption of eggs locally. Among them are a series of unfortunate myths which the industry players hope to resolve through positive public education. Some of these myths are that if a pregnant woman eats eggs, it will cause her baby to become too big. Eggs cause indigestion if eaten at night. If a child eats half an egg, he or she would become a thief. And brown eggs are more nutritious than white ones. Surely, these myths have no truth to them. 
One frequent question asked is how many eggs should one eat? Recent studies have shown that eating three to four eggs per week is okay for most people. It is rather ironical because uh, eggs seem to be the most nutritious and the most valuable food that one can really have. The egg is so important. It, for, the, for the young, it, it, it provides about all the valuable protein that is required. It has, as a matter of fact, we always re remind the people that in eggs you have all the, the vitamins required, except just vitamin C, we are told, not in eggs. We have all the minerals required. It's only cobalt that we don't find in eggs. So you can see how important this product could be. Luckily, this farming sector has been selected to benefit under the Private Sector Development Project through a cluster initiative being sponsored by the Government of Jamaica and the European Union. The Jamaica Egg Farmers Cluster is one of 10 clusters selected for grant aid assistance through the project being managed by Jamaica Trade and Invest. We are expecting that this cluster um, initiative will help to unite the industry. We'll be able to work closer with not just the farmers but with the, the consuming trade through the distribution and so forth. We'll be able to improve quality, we'll be able to bring a better promotional message to consumers who are so concerned about this myth and that the consumption of eggs will, will increase. The egg industry in Jamaica is certainly catching on to the most modern technologies to reduce cost and make it more competitive. There are three major hatcheries in the island, all of which are upgraded with technology in the growing of pullets allowing farmers to get the birds when they are ready to lay and not having to wait three and four weeks as in the past. Grading machines installed by most of the larger farmers ensure that they are safe for consumption. 30 eggs is picked up with the suction and loaded on the conveyor. The conveyor takes it through to the candler where I watch to see if there is any crop ones or any blood present in the egg. After which the conveyor takes it through to the washer. Then the eggs are picked off, 30 goes into the flat, 12 in the one dozen tray, and six in the half dozen tray. In order to ensure the best practices are maintained from farm to fork, everyone along the production chain is required to adapt to a cold chain handling system where the eggs are kept at regulated temperature. The Jamaica egg farmers would recognize that many of our small farmers are going to find it very challenging to meet that type of requirement. So what we, are going, what we have been doing basically is to set up many clusters within our major egg cluster industry and farmers can bring their eggs to that point. We have already set up one. We have one such um, cluster arrangement where we have the grading machine, we have the coal, the, the, um, the, the coal room facility and all of this in Kitson Town. And we will be setting up strategically more of these over the country. For more information on the Jamaica egg industry, you can contact the Ministry of Agriculture, Hope Gardens, Kingston 6, telephone 927-1731-50 or the Jamaica Egg Farmers Association at 990-5473 or 995-0303.